Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing Pokemon X again, and today is going to be another evolution episode. But this will be the last one after this. We'll finally get started with the post game. But um, there is a lot to do today. There is a lot of Pokemon to evolve, and we're actually going to be doing all the trading today. So that's arguably going to take even longer. Um, I've got a Pokemon Y account, and I got a bunch of the exclusives. Not all of them, but most of them. You know, like, I didn't go all the way to Route 18, and I didn't get, like, the Legendary, but I got, like, all the rest. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot. But the first thing we actually have to do is, um, it is Tuesday, and you guys know what Tuesday means. Um, at the Lost Hotel, the trash cans shake, and you can get two Pokemon, um, Garbodor and Rotom. Okay, let's head down into the Lost Hotel, and it being Tuesday... We sh of course, I get an encounter before I can even say anything. You and Voltorb and Magna. <gasps> it's shaking. What do we get? Rotom or Garbodor? Rotom, please. Hey, there we go. We got ourselves a Rotom. Okay, so again, if any of you are looking for Rotom, come to the Lost Hotel, but you gotta do it on Tuesday. And, like, today is an actual Tuesday for me, so... Literally, like, only reason. Let's go ahead and try to catch this Rotom. Hopefully it doesn't give us too much trouble, because the evolving portion of today is going to take another, like, three hours, probably, considering. Because um, I have a whole page of things to evolve, and then I have about half a page of things to just trade. Um, and what I, what I ended up doing is I got all of the Pokemon on the alternate account. I even got them with all of the items and everything, so we're just going to zoop them right over here. Um... On this account, I didn't give the Pokemon the items just because it's not particularly important for my other account to have the evolutions. I need this account to have them. So, I, I really just worked on the second account to give all the Pokemon the proper items. And this one, it's whatever. Research continues on this Pokemon, which could be a power source of a unique motor. Very cool. Okay, the other need is Garbodor. And... Is there... Okay. Give me... Oh. Needed a Garbodor, bro. Okay, I'm gonna put a repel on these or making me angry at this point. Okay, guys, so I can't get the trash cans to move again. We did get the Rotom, which is the important part. And you know what? I got a Garbodor on my other account. I'm just gonna trade it. Um, while we're trading the thousands of other Pokemon we need to trade. So, very quickly, let's go ahead and fly back. Oh, I guess the boxes aren't technically correct because I did all the work on my other account. But, oh, I guess this box is correct. So these are basically all Pokemon one level away. Um, I think this... Oh, okay, this I need to turn into Rhyhorn and then I trade it. Okay, well then let's go ahead and let's do a couple of level Pokemon. And then we'll do... A couple of trading Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do that. We're fine. Anyone else? Okay, just vanilla. -ish. Okay, we're gonna get ourselves a vanilla. Right? I think so. I think I think that's the one we're going for here. Move my mic closer to me. Yeah, and surprisingly, last episode I think the file was like a hour thirty, and I had to break it up into a thirty-minute video. So probably going to be similar today. Probably end up recording for at least like an hour or two and try my best to break it up. Okay, here we go. Uh, we got our Golbat moving up to level 45. And well, technically Golbat evolves through happiness, right? So it's actually not level, but I ended up getting it all the way up to level 45 to get its happiness high enough. And that's the same thing I did with Chingling and all the other Pokemon that evolved through happiness. Um, I just did it through shared leveling because I'm not going to do all that other stuff to make him happy. Here we go, Crobat. Um, very cool Pokemon, though. I really like Crobat. Okay, we got ourselves a Rhyhorn to 42. And we get ourselves a Rhydon. And this Rhydon, we will now be able to trade and then trade back with a protector. Like the item, the protector on it. And we'll get ourselves a Rhyperior. Is pretty cool. There we go. Rhydon. Actually, I was 
frantically looking for this Pokemon in my other box. Finally found it. Hammer arm, sure. You can get rid of Tail Whip. That's fine. Okay, is Fracture gonna level up here? It should. Okay. I was like, usually it evolves and then learns a move, I think. Unless I'm like completely tripping. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm like, why did you learn the move? You tried to teach me a move before evolving. Anyway. Our Fracture is evolving in a Hexorus. Pretty cool Pokemon. Definitely not one of my favorite pseudo legendaries, but fair enough. I just think he has a really small head. I don't know. Game Freak and Nintendo like to make Pokemon with small heads. Like big Pokemon, Dragon Pokemon with small heads, and I don't understand why. They did the same thing in Scarlet and uh, Violet. Let's go ahead and give the Protector to Rhydon. So we know we're going to have to do that. So I just realized Chingling actually needs to evolve at night. Okay, so we got our first one, Abra. Abra evolves into its second stage very, very early on at like level 18, so this one did not take very long to do. And luckily, a lot of these like first gen Pokemon that need to be traded, um, game Nintendo didn't really have uh, trading with items in these first couple games, so like Graveler, Machoke, uh, uh, Kadabra, they don't need items, which just makes everything much, much easier. Of course, we will have to trade this back and forth. Honestly, when it comes to the trading portion of the Pokemon, I don't even know if I'll have my camera on and talking. Like I said, it's going to take forever because many of these Pokemon are actually going to need to be traded back and forth. So it's going to probably take a hot minute to get through all of them. But we'll see. We'll get through as many as we can with me here. Oop, I just totally hit my mic. And then whenever I get bored. Okay, Snover's up to 40. Kadabra's up to 22. Although I don't really need it to be. But I think Snover should be evolving here. We got ourselves an Obama Snow. I know it's uh, Obama. I'm, I'm just going to call it Obama Snow because I think it's hilarious. And I have the humor of a 12-year-old, but it's all right. I love Obama Snow. He's my favorite. He's a pretty cool guy. He do be quite thick with big beard and very creepy eyes. But hey. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves our Wubat evolving. This is another Pokemon that is through friendship. And that is also why this Wubat is level 40 something. Because once again, I did friendship completely through leveling. Instead of playing with it or feeding it or whatever, I just said, screw it, I'm getting your friendship up by pure evolution. Or through pure leveling. So we get ourselves a Swoobat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some Pokemon away and grab some more just so we can kind of save some time here. Okay, let's gather a few more Pokemon. How about Slowpoke? We'll grab that. Azumarill, we'll grab that. Curlia... All right, Gothry to 51, Combi to 21. All right, two evolutions, cool. Who's who's first? All right, Gothry to. That's a very high level for Gothry to. I didn't realize it was so high. All the way at 52? That's a high number, dude. But fair enough. Got ourselves. I still don't know what this thing's called. What is it called? Gothitelle, okay, that's what it is. Big ol' emo chick. Alright, and then we got ourselves our female combi evolving into Vespa Queen. And again, I don't actually, I think you know what ended up happening? I went to grab a second Ralts so I could get a Gardevoir and a Glade, and I, in the middle of that, found a female combi, and I'm like, oh, I need one of these. So then I got it, and here we go, Vespa Queen. <laughs> So, lucky timing on that one, or lucky coincidence, realizing that one Pokemon I need is in the same bush as another one that I needed, which I didn't know I needed in that moment. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves the Curlia evolving. So, this is the female Curlia, which will evolve into Gardevoir. And I do have a male one also, um, which we're going to have to use a stone on to get the male version of the late. That's pretty cool. Alright, but we did get ourselves a Gardevoir. Very nice. 
I think we can Mega Evolve this, this, this gen. Hey, Azrael the 37. Come on, Slowpoke. Of course, Slowpoke doesn't want to come now. Well, at least we get our Azrael evolving here. Bum, 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 bum. A little bouncy bounce. And actually, we can go ahead and double up on this because to get. Wait, no. I thought it was. Azrael comes through a water stone, but actually, I think it just comes through straight le levering. Le levering? Evolution level. Yeah, it actually just needs to get to 18. Which I think it could... Oh, but it's already high enough. So actually, we just need to level it one more time and it'll actually go straight to Azumarill. Okay. So I'm like... Do I do we need a water... No, we do not need a water stone. Okay. And we have our Slowpoke evolving into a slow bro. And I do have another slow... Um, s slow poke with a King's Rock ready to trade over to get the slow king. So I do, I do have another one prepared in my box with the item on it to get the other one. Cool. Slow bro. Withdraw. No, slow bro does not need withdraw. Okay. And here we go. We should, yep, we should get Azumarill here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, now I remember. To get from the small one to the Meryl, we needed high friendship, so I had to level it a bunch. That's why the Azumarill is basically instant, because I already had to over-level it just to get the friendship high. I, I was wondering, I'm like, why was my... I'm just going to go with baby Meryl. Why was this so high? Now I remember. Again, one of those things that you had to prepare beforehand. All right, who's lacking here? No one's lacking. Everyone's done. Okay. I'm like, I thought someone here did not get evolved that was supposed to. Right, Pila Swine, 20, 39, and that's going to be the only evolution. All right, here we go. And uh, just so you guys know, in, in I don't know if I'm going to include a video, but I just ran over to Azure Bay and went and grabbed a Remor Raid. Um, yeah, I just I didn't realize that my Remor Raid was currently in Octillery. I didn't have a Remor Raid, and I just like assumed Barboach was the slam, slammy fish. So, same thing, right? Well, no, apparently not, so... Here we go, we get ourselves... What is this called again? Mammal Swine, okay. Yeah, I'm... Okay, here we go, we got our Tyrant evolving. And the other good thing about getting... Or having a second account, was that I went ahead and grabbed another starter. Um, the other Fossil. So, that's... Those are some of the other things that we'll be trading over in just a minute here. But... Definitely, this is a cool Pokemon, man. Definitely one of the cooler ones of this generation. I know it's literally just the T -Sor Tyrannosaurus Rex, but still. Okay, we got ourselves our Fennekin up to 17, then 18. Club Baby up to 9, up to 10, up to Lucky Chant. And we should be getting... I, I, does Club Baby evolve at 9, or was I just tripping? Let me actually... Pokemon... Club baby, when how does it do its thingy again? Through a stone, okay. So it oh level 19, okay. So it's got a little bit more of evolution to go before we get there. Okay, noted. We got ourselves a Braxen. And then after this evolution, one of the greatest Pokemon of all time becomes one of the worst Pokemon of all time. And Fennekin and Braxton was just such a good... Okay, so our Burmy evolved. We should have it turning into something. Here we go. And I think I, I need to get the other version of Burmy. I hope I have another one, though. That's might, that might be something we'll have to seek out. Because um, there's going to be a good amount of Pokemon, obviously, that we still haven't don't have after this episode. That we'll just have to seek out slowly, like the other version of Bur the other version of Burmy. Just because I could just go grab it, but like, eh, it's gonna be a little too much work. So I'll just grab it probably in the future. Okay, our Lickitung should theoretically evolve, yes, because I taught it rollout. So now it should be able to turn into a Licky Licky, which is such a funny name. Don't know why it, they did this to him, but yeah. 
There we go. Arguably a stupider version. I like Lick a Tongue better, but hey. Licky Licky is a thing. Okay, the Mantike. Okay, the Flabebe. The Mantike should be evolving. I don't know why it's not. What am I missing here? Leveled up with a Remoraid in the party. I have... Okay, well, maybe we'll see if it's coming up after this. Or if I'm just part tripping. But there we go. Now we got the... Is it Floet, right? Floet? Yes. And now we're going to be able to use a stone on it to level it up. So, I think our next batch of Pokemon... Why isn't Mantike? Because I don't have to read my party. Oh, my. Okay, so theoretically our Pancham... Okay, here we go. Yep. I was like, yeah, theoretically, so I grabbed Scraggy, which is a dark type, and Pancham usually evolves when you have a dark type on your team. So, there we go. Now we get Pangoro, which is another really, really cool Pokemon. Is it from this generation? I I don't know if this is... I think Pangoro's from this generation. If not, it's from the last, but pretty sure it's from this generation. But another very, very cool Pokemon. Okay, <laughs> For, like, the fourth time now, theoretically, Mantike should be evolving. Okay, perfect. We, so, I don't think I'm going to show it on camera because it kind of happened in between, but I accidentally let my second Remoraid evolve into an Octillery. So then when Mantike leveled up, of course, I no longer had a Remoraid, I had an Octillery. So I actually had to go grab and grab a third Remoraid so I just so I could do this evolution so that was Mantine is really annoying to level up surprisingly but we did it okay and I think we're, we're very very close to being done here just got to get a few more and then we'll get to the stone Pokemon okay everybody here's what we're gonna do we still technically got the Braxen to evolve but we'll just hold off because once we do the trading there'll actually be a few more Pokemon that we have to evolve like the Squirtle uh, the chest pin. Um, so for now, let's just go ahead and grab a few of these Eevees. Two of them will evolve. Well, one of them will evolve now. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and let one of our Eevee evolve. And it's going to evolve, obviously, into Espeon because it has a high friendship level and it is during the day. Now the Umbreon, we're going to have to just kind of hold on to until it becomes nighttime, along with Chingling, which, you know, both of them need nighttime. But So we got the first one here, and the other one is actually going to try to evolve, and we're going to have to stop it from doing so. So here we go. Yes, the second Eevee is going to want to evolve, and we're going to say, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Stop evolving. There we go. Yep. Okay, now the rest of the Pokemon, we're actually just going to have to use stones on. Surprisingly, I don't know why we're doing this so late into the game. Let's see. Yes, we're going to have to do it on... Let's see, this was level 49. If I accidentally do it on that one, I'll be so mad because it took a very long time to get that EV up to 49. Trust me. So, let's go ahead and do the stone Pokemon. And there's a couple of other Pokemon that we need to do. The Curlia... I think the Floet, if I have the stone for it. I don't know if I have it, actually, but... There we go. We got ourselves our Vaporeon. Okay, now let's go ahead and use a Leaf... Oh, Leaf Stone is not one of them. I need to use a... Do I not have another Thunderstone? Ooh, this is going to be weird. I didn't realize that I maybe I did not have a Thunderstone. Okay. That's going to be something that's going to cause me some trouble. I'm going to have to get another one of those. Maybe, oh, I do have a Thunderstone. Oh, that's very lucky. Okay, here we go. I'm like, oh, did I use my last Thunderstone on, like... Oh, wait. No, mate. Electric? I think Electric evolves by level, not by stone, so I think we're fine. Electric's one of the exclusives that we're going to have to trade over in a minute here. Alright, here we go. Okay, so actually we will be able to get all three of the evolution of the classic evolutions, Because I know for a fact I have Firestones considering I bought many of them. Okay. There we go. Now we got to get Flareon. 
Bun -dum -bun -dum. And then we already have Glaceon and we have Leafeon. So I think the only one that we don't have is Sylveon. And I. Ooh, I think Sylveon is in this game. Is it? Is Sylveon in this game? I don't know. If it is, we're gonna have to get it. So I don't know how to do that. But I'll definitely figure it out. It's probably gonna be one of those last final Pokemon that we work on at the end. Okay. So we're kind of done with Eevee there. Again, we'll have to hold off for the last one until it becomes nighttime. Or let's see if any of these are able to do it by any of these stones. Okay, Dawnstone. Here we go. Okay. And this will be able to get us a blade, which is pretty cool. I think I might need another Dawnstone. Um, I don't know what other Pokemon evolved by it, but I'll... I think I can maybe grab one from the second account if really, really needed. But I don't know what other ones are in this game that evolved by it. But we got ourselves our Glade, which is pretty cool. There we go. Okay, let's see. Does, do we have any other stones just sitting in our bag here that we could possibly use okay and i think the other thing we need to do is evolve both nose pass and magneton and i think both of them evolve on route 13 or by thunderstone and i forgot which one it is <gasps> i don't have any more thunderstones okay everybody i think we're gonna go ahead and start with the trading process which is gonna take a very long time here we go. This is this is my laptop. This is where I have my second account that I've been playing on. And this is where we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the Pokemon. Okay, so now we can see that we popped up on each other's thing. We're going to go ahead and go to trade. Save. Now, the trading should pop up on my other screen, which it is. Let's go ahead and click yes. Go ahead and trade. Then just say waiting until preparations are complete. Communication's a little bit. Okay. And now I know you technically can't see my other screen. Um, but I do have obviously all of the other Pokemon pulled up on the other screen. And what we're gonna be doing is kind of giving it feeder feed. Well, technically we can just give it our Pokemon here, these ones that need to evolve. But we're gonna try to do one for one trades every single time, so. I guess let's start one by one here. The Swirlix first, because I know that's the one that we need to do. And again, it's going to be a one for one. Now, my other account has an item on it. This one doesn't, but it doesn't matter because this is the account that matters. And since the other one has the item, I will get the evolved version, which is really the important part. And yes, I think I'm gonna maybe go silent now.
Okay, everybody, so I did all of the trading like you saw. I kind of did it off camera just because it actually took quite a little while. Um, but you can see here, here are all the Pokemon that we had to trade to evolve. Also, just like a couple of exclusives. Um, so I guess we could go through all of them. Um, like I said, you probably saw them, you saw it during like a little time lapse, but um, the evolution of both of the Shelmet and the Carablast. Um, we got the Gorgeist, which is the big old pumpkin, um, the Slurpuff, the Gigalith, and then a couple of the classics, the Machamp, the Gengar, the Rhyperior. Um, we got both the Gorbis and the Huntail. So I traded two of all of these. One of these you can get in either of the games, but I just, whatever, I just, just traded for both of them. The Golem, the Scizor, and the Slow King. Um, now, I did grab a couple of the exclusives. I grabbed the Trubbish just because it was just easier to do. Um, I grabbed the only other starter that I was missing, which was Chespin. Um, I grabbed the Squirtle. So really, the only one we have left now is we need to grab Bulbasaur. Um, but I did grab the Skrelp, the Spritzy, and the Shelter, which are all exclusives, along with um, the Fossil that I couldn't get. Um, and I grabbed the Heracross. So that's kind of, I think that's everything we did. Um, there's a couple other things to grab still, but I'll have to get those later in the game, just because I'm not going to do those right now. And here are what we still need to evolve. A couple of these I could probably do right now since it's nighttime. And then these I need to wait until I get the Razor items. So that's going to take a little longer. But um, I'm at like an hour and 40 in my recording. So I'm going to go ahead and stop for now. If I feel like it later, I'll go ahead and do a couple more. But um, I think we did enough for today. And honestly, these ones I might be able to just evolve while we do the post game. Um, just because it's, it's going to take a little bit while. So. I think that's going to be it for today.